nice to meet you. I, I, I see you and you look exactly like your video, so it's nice really? when you look exactly the same. Oh, I guess that's good. Well, you, do you ever get nervous? Like, <laughs> as a female, like, if I do pictures, not that I'm, you know, a celebrity, but when I do pictures for, like, radio, and someone says, oh, you don't look the same, I'm like, oh, is that a, is that a bad thing? Like, do I look better or worse? <laughs> you know what I mean? Guys don't worry about that probably as much. No, nah, not not so much. We're just, you know, either, you're either, you know, sweaty and hairy or... You're sweaty not, you're and not sweaty hairy. and hairy. I'm not sweaty and hairy. You look good. You know what I mean, metaphorically speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, a guy, you're just a guy. Really, yeah. like, see, this thing about girls, like, y'all can, like, put up an Instagram and just have, like, hundreds and thousands of people looking at you yeah. just from being in a bathing suit. God, every guy's not like that. Do you have Instagram? I can't put up a picture of my leg and be like, look at my leg. Well, you could. You're B.O.B. <laughs> like, people would I wouldn't do that. That'd, that'd, that'd be kind of weird, though, for me. I mean, just me, personally. You could do it now. You can instagram it I'll right do it now. under the table. Okay. Here, look, you get all I the can, legs I you can want take the shot under the table. <laughs> um, Grammys this year. Yeah. Are you going to go to the show? Um. I'm, Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's our first. Well, not not Taylor's first Grammys. It's my first Grammys. I'm really, so I'm really excited <laughs> about Grammys it. Virgin. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Grammys virgin. Con congratulations! You got to pop Thank that you. cherry now. I'm excited to pop, pop my cherry. That, pop that! Don't stop. Um, you were nominated last year. Yes. How does it feel to be nominated? Like that's that's pretty rare. I mean, most artists don't get the chance to be no even nominated, or let alone go to the Grammys. Exactly. I just you just brought it back into perspective for me. I appreciate. You're lucky. You <laughs> Thank your stars. <laughs> Are you into astrology? Um, I I read it for fun. What's your zodiac sign? Gemini. I'm a Scorpio. What's what are you? Sag. Sag, you're right, after, right after me. Yeah, that's why we connect. I think we do. We connect. Sweat. This, there Sweat. we go. Sweat. Why and, does, and, and oh, if it, don't ah, do that. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, All what are you that. doing? What, you love Canada. You've been to Canada several times. Like, what I do. do you, what do you love about the Canadians? And the fans love you. I love, my favorite spots in Canada, um, Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver. I really like Toronto. Toronto has some of the beautiful, most beautiful women I've seen in my life. You said that before, so now I'm going to believe you. And and look, no, like seriously, and people, I was and people think when you said that people think before, I just I'm picked like. like <laughs> I'm like, is it, I'm already pregnant. So uh, <laughs> prick, <laughs> okay. pregnant. So but, no, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was, I was saying people think, you know, I just kind of picked some cities. Like I really, I really thought about it, and I was like, I really actually I didn't have to think about it because it was so. It stuck out to me so much. Like, I don't go to cities thinking, hmm, what's the beautiful girl ratio here? <laughs> but when yeah. I went to Toronto, it just really jumped out at me. So, Where are you calling home right now? Because, you know, artists are always on tour, but where is your home base? What do you consider home? ATL. Like, See, yes. All day. All day long. Yes. And, you know, it, I, what, I, what I love about it is there's so much music there. And people don't understand. If you're not in the industry, you don't really know. There's Nashville. ATL, I want to say Toronto, but you know there's but but you can just pick up and go and and produce and do music anywhere. You can, and it, it, it's you know it it really it really allows you to work with a lot of different artists that way because you know sometimes you can't you know f fly all the way to the other side of the country for like a day and a half worth of work. You know you want to like you know get it and like you 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 kind of want. Sometimes songs come out come about spontaneously, and sometimes it is something that's MP3. Which you know, in a perfect world, we could all go to the studio and party and right. make songs. <laughs> but everybody's everywhere, so you know it's kind of hard to always be in the studio. Now you're talking about astrology. There are artists that are. What what is it about astrology that you're into? There's a um, lot of artists that wear the coral because it's grounded. Are you into that type of stuff? Or? Uh, I'm. I'm. You know what? You know, it, it, I, this is how I look at it. You know. You can look at life and then you could look at the... To me, I don't separate it from life. It's like it is like... You know, they use it in computers all the time. Right. Whether you're into crystals or not or stones, they're using it in computers and watches. Every every day, they're, they're in there. They're in there. They're, yep. Yeah, everywhere. So, you know... So, it's happening. I just understand, you know, what the, what the metaphysical qualities are. Yeah. And mastering my own zodiac attributes. There you go. Being a Scorpio. Somebody's got to love us. So. There you go. Using lots of big words, B.O.B., and we love you. <laughs> <laughs>